Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're talking about the next uh, Inspector palette. Um, in this case, it is the second one from the left, the Inspector layout. And the layout Inspector covers things such as columns and uh, layout margins. Uh, we don't have a lot of text on here, but if I, I type some text right now, and type some text just to model for you how this works. Highlight it, copy. Let's put some in there. We'll fill this page up quickly with some text. Okay, so we've got some text here and we wanna add some columns. We can select the text, go ahead over to columns and adding a column is simple as clicking the column button. Add one column, add two columns, add three columns. And you can see here it's um, already formatted and it's given equal column width because we have this box checked. We can uncheck this box and we can actually go in here and we can change the gutter or the column width. So let's make this column two inches and see what happens. Okay, it's spread over to another sheet, but you can see here, this column is now two inches. It's column number three, right here, column three, two inches. And the rest of them, it, the first two are almost 1.6 and the last one is the remainder of the column, which actually spreads onto a new page, and that is uh, 1.1875 uh, inches. So, uh, creating columns is really easy with the Layout Inspector, uh, unlike some other programs where we would have to control click or insert new column breaks and kind of monkey around with these uh, tabs up here, which can get relatively confusing. The Layout Inspector makes column creation very simple um, just by clicking on the columns. If you want them equal widths, add this checkbox and it will keep those widths for you. Now, it will spread onto a new sheet. Now, see, it already knew it didn't have enough room, created a new column. I really like the features of this. Um, some of you that are familiar with uh, other publishing software are probably like the traditional method, but for beginner users, this is an excellent way of creating neat and organized columns of information. And I will show you later on how to create these columns on just areas of a page and not have it continue all the way down the page. So layout margins. Um, again, if you want to create margins within the layout, you can see the um, column is bumping out here. And I'm going to bring it back. And then layouts uh, margins before, which is uh, really the same area as the header or the footer after would be the footer but if you want to bump it down we can just use these arrows and again you can type inside here to change these uh, section okay in the section we have the continuous for previous section and starting at so this is page numbers if we insert page numbers here i'm just going to file in uh i'm sorry insert i'm going to do a page number you can see the page number here uh, i'm going to go ahead and center this and increase the font so you can clearly see it there we go we've got a big page number here and here's where we can continue is for previous section or we can start a new page number see we can change have this start at page seven if we maybe we're working on uh, collaborating on a document and i'm creating page seven and on so i can make it appear there so i can see what it looks like the configuration first page is different if this box is checked that means the first page is treated differently with the formatting than the remainder of the document Left and right pages are different. In this case, if we have facing pages from the previous tutorial to turn it on and go back into the layout, then the left and right pages are different than the uh, than each other. And that may be important if you're creating kind of long documents or one side's going to picture, one side's going to be text and you want different formatting. Um, it would be important to check that. So. The remainder is use previous headers and footers. In this case, what it's doing is it's taking the previous header and footer if I had multiple pages and I had already formatted that and it will apply it to the rest of the document. If I want my headers and footers to look different on every page, I would uncheck this and that would allow me to alter that header and footer. It would not change the header and footer on the remainder of the pages. And section starts on any page to the right, to the left. Uh, a section is an area of the document that we can create and give it special formatting features. And we'll cover that on an advanced tutorial. But um, for right now, the section starting icon is probably not going to be used uh, on this beginner tutorial. It will be covered in the advanced tutorial. When we come back, we will go ahead and cover text wrapping.